Hello, my name is David, designer and owner of Earthly Jeweled Adornments. And uh, in an effort to be more transparent in social media, I'm going to share my vision and my mission uh, to you guys now. Um, as per the advice of Ben from Dirt Coast Gen. Thanks, Ben. And Liz Cantor. Thanks, Liz. Um, so here I am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share my vision. So five years ago when I was launching my brand, I wanted to show uh, the community of jewelers who appreciate jewelry. Uh, I wanted to show different concepts and elements that could be just uh, as precious as fine jewelry. So might as well place them in the realm of fine jewelry. Uh, you know, different materials, different ideas, different notions that, that could be just as precious. So uh, five years ago when I launched, um, I introduced to the, uh, to the world uh, uh, my line that shows the preciousness of birth and creation, inspired by the birth of my children. Uh, when my wife was pregnant at the time, I, I saw the marvels and the beauty of the process of pregnancy and, and of birth. And uh, I thought, you know, this is a great way to show the preciousness of birth and creation. And what I did is I used a seed of a palm tree. Uh, it looks like, uh, like this. Uh, it's called Tagua from Ecuador, from the rainforest of Ecuador. Uh, it's a very hard, very hard material. And um, I used it in, uh, as a great alternative to the poached and conflict ridden ivory as well. And, um, and uh, the more we appreciate the seed, uh, palm ivory, the more we deep depreciate the, the value of the tusks, elephant tusks. So I thought that would be great. The notion of, of the preciousness of uh, birth and creation is a great idea. And, uh, and just the fact that it's organic, sustainable, and eco-sensitive, that's also a main reason why I started the line with it. And here's uh, some of the pieces that I made with it. There's all of these with the white material. And this is one of my award winners right there with the blue sapphire. And there's some more back there. And in the posters, you could see right there's one somewhere there, and another one there, and that one there. I can't point if I don't can. Okay, there you go. So, and the other thing is that if you notice, there's books here. Those books are my, uh, those are I read when I was getting my master's in comparative Chinese and European philosophy. And actually, this is my master's thesis here, which refer. I use those, some of those books as references in my thesis. Uh, and uh, what my mentor in philosophy told me is to apply my philosophical thoughts into something practical, something con uh, conventional, so that I actually be a, a true practitioner of philosophy. So what I decided to do is make a line of jewelry that represented those, uh, my thoughts and philosophies. And so every design has a particular meaning and significance. So for example, this series here is called the Cardinal Series. Uh, sorry if I'm not pointing exactly the way I should, but uh, this uh, uh, promotes the preciousness of finding your path or finding your way. Uh, most of us try to find it through our cardinal directions, meaning through our conventional means, but sometimes we need help from the above and beyond. So that's why this design is made that way. And the the arrows that point downwards are uh, is a call to be grounded. So. A uh, Chinese philosopher said that in order to be wise, you have to return to the root, return to the ground. So therefore, these arrows are pointing downwards as a, uh, you know, it's, we all need a little grounding. So that's why they're designed that way. So every particular design series has a meaning and significance, um, not only in the materials that I use, but in the design itself. Um, if you see also these pieces here with brown material, the right, I can't point there, that's another seed from uh, Brazil, and I like those for men's pieces. I have one myself, let's see, right there. What a great option for, a uh, instead of ties, one of these. I'll make a feature of that later. Lastly, uh, I just launched with pieces here from, uh, uh, these pieces here are gonna have honey and pollen inside the jewelry because I wanna share the, uh, preciousness of interconnectivity, how we're all interconnected, how uh, if we're more aware of how deeply interconnected we are, the more we you know, appreciate things, even the smallest details, because it affects the whole world. 
So anyways, I'm going to continue uh, sharing and, and uh, my vision and, and being a little bit more transparent in, through social media. Uh, I hope uh, you like it and I hope you follow and share and uh, looking forward for the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.